Well, we are nearly halfway through the summer season. That means that there's still a whole lot of time to make it the most memorable yet. And there are plenty of ways to do just that with simple low prep crafts you can make with the things you already have around the house. Beth Ann Teach, our favorite with low lift fun is here. And you got fun crafts for the entire family. I like this because this means <laughs> young, you know, wiser, older, Fun Everyone can ages. get involved. Fun for right? all ages. Absolutely, absolutely. And these are super low prep ideas that use materials you probably have around the house. Okay. So I love to keep it easy. This first idea is super fun. These are DIY water sponge balls. Ooh. These are a great replacement for water balloons if you want to take them to the backyard. I've actually been taking them to the pool all summer and my kids throw them back and forth at the pool. So a super affordable, easy way to just use sponges. So you'll cut these long way. Oh, okay. Yep, and you'll cut mm -hmm. it into like four or five strips as you cut across. Mm -hmm. And then once you have your strips cut, you're gonna grab a rubber band and you'll bundle your okay. group together. There, there you go. go. Yes, you like exactly. To bundle? So while you bundle that, you can cut another one. And okay. this is super fun. You can make it with your kids or if you have Ooh. the sponges around the house and wanna make them, you okay. can make it first and then take it outside with your kiddos. I mean, because the fun is getting somebody wet that doesn't want to get wet. Ah! You know, that's basically it. <laughs> Throwing something at somebody, whether also, it's, you know. it's like a great alternative to a water balloon. Exactly. Because the worst yes. part about water ballooning is that you have to go pick them up or make a game of it mm -hmm. for the kids and they only get half of them and right. then they're all over the yard. They're all over your yard. With exactly. this. Yes. And look. <laughs> <laughs> I like this too because you have multicolors here. Yes, and you can squeeze it right out. And then if yes. you put a couple bundles together, you can make like a mega, mega one. Make a huge mega, mega, mega water ball. Put it in here. That's exactly. such ready. Oh, and ready, it's so Sarah? easy. Oh, so ready to easy. Catch. I thought you were really going to throw yeah. it in. And we take these to the pool with us and we're sharing them with friends, right? Uh -huh. It's not a big deal if one gets lost. So Great. really fun Perfect. pool and water I love, that. love it. So yes. easy. Love that. Okay, this is another fun water activity. This is a great one to do outside. This is color mixing with paint dyed water. So to start, this all I did to dye this was add a little bit of paint to each bin. So okay. this is just washable paint. So you can add a good good amount into that. Okay. Yep, just squeeze it right oh, out. Sorry. Yeah. Use that muscle and then syrup. Just whisk it fast. Yeah, whisk, whisk it fast. Whisk. Go, yes, go, mix, go, mix, go, mix, go, mix. Go, go. And it gets oh, really oh, nice sorry. and bright. Is that too fast. <laughs> And then you can grab these cups, spoons, and it's super fun to explore color mixing. So, like, I can take a little bit of red. And I feel like yellow. I'm serving up punch, but we shouldn't drink this. Right, it is not. It is not. <laughs> drinking it. But I will say, my kids, Whoa. absolutely, this is always becomes pretend play. It turns okay. into like, I own a juice shop. Oh, I'm mixing juices. Cute. Right, come to my store. Yes. The kids love this. And this and is just a, like, what color does it make? Right. This cute. is a great example of all those fun play-based learning benefits. Ready for a little blue? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Yes. Or here, like if I take a little bit of yellow, if you add a little blue. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Green. There we go. Yes. So it's fun to talk with your kids, like what color does it make? Right. right? Yes. What do you predict? What color will it become? Cute. You can make different shades. Mm -hmm. Super fun. And again, it usually becomes pretend play with yeah. my kids, where then, you know, it becomes all that fun independent play. Well, this I is darling. It. I've never seen one like <laughs> this great? before. Yeah. That's cute. With Super a beaker. Fun. I know. Right? And so it's a little stem activity as well. Yeah. So we love that. Amazing. And then this last activity, so that these are both really fun for outside, but if you're stuck inside in the heat this July, oh. how about a snack necklace, right? We call a this a snack activity. It's a snack and an activity all snack in one. Activity. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you just tie a snack one snack on the end, right? Mm -hmm. So everything doesn't fall off. Tie that onto the string, and then if oh, you want to try cute. it out, mm -hmm. I grab just some pretzels. These are Cheerios, Fruit Loops. I oh, love it. And it's so great. There can be learning benefits to this, right? Like if your child wants to make a color pattern, uh -huh. this is really great for fine motor development, or it's just fun. It's just a fun activity to do inside and pass yes. the time. Wow, so good. Yes. And then of course, you don't need the use of a needle, which is kids uh -huh. safe, <laughs> yes. because you know, right, sharp objects. Exactly. These, these things already have holes in them, uh -huh. so anything uh -huh. with a hole, a and snack. You don't <laughs> 
with a hole in it is good. You don't have to yeah. feed them lunch yeah. because it's right here. Uh, yes. Just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> She's a great mom. <laughs> Wait, Beth Ann, when did you make this? How, how long has it been now? I just made it yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? I promise I washed my hands, which is probably more than we can say for the kids, right? Um, <laughs> another great thing with this is it's fun mm -hmm. to take on the go even. Like if you wanted to make this a road trip activity, yeah. oh, you could cute. fill up a little container with a few of these different snacks and your kiddos could even do this in the back seat of the car. I love oh that. Gosh, now are cute. your kids whipping out the I'm bored yet? Or you, you know always, what? You're just I'm, so good I'm a at big this. believer in the I'm bored is okay. It's healthy okay. to be bored. It's oh, healthy yeah. to be bored. That's when the creativity gets going. And so I think of a lot of activities like this as a launching point to just get to jumpstart their independent play. So something like the water mixing, yeah. it puts it out to get some ideas going right. for them, and then it turns into yeah, independent play for them. Parents don't have to figure out everything for their no. kids, no. right? Go it's healthy right. to be bored. Right. That's when Absolutely. the imagination is going to come out. And then they can use the sponge to wash dishes <laughs> later. Too, there we if go. You need them yes. to help out with some of the chores. <laughs> there you go. In our house, it'll become a weapon, like <laughs> yeah. inevitably. Right? Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. Always the best. Yes. For more craft ideas, head to lowliftfun.com. You can use the code WGN to download the summer guide for free. Oh, you're the best. Find her on Instagram, TikTok, all the things right there on your screen.